guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll see the IEEE 802.11 physical layer and in that we see the FHSS that is frequency hopping spread spectrum. So we already saw a video on DSSS that is uh, direct sequence spread spectrum in our previous video. So in this, let's see what is FHSS packet structure and what are its various components. So uh, before that we already know what is FHS is that is frequency hopping spread spectrum uh, in which we have a frequency uh, pattern or a hopping sequence or a hopping pattern is there which we apply at the receiver end so that at the output signal we get a uh, wider bandwidth signal. So uh, to begin with we have a basic overview of this uh, packet structure that it operates in the ISM that is industrial scientific and medical band. So this band is nothing but uh, it has got uh, different kinds of frequencies and different frequency allocations are there which are uh, then divided into different usages uh, as per its uh, divisions. So uh, that we keep aside and we just focus on this FHSS packet structure. So this packet structure is similar, somewhat kind of fields are there which are common in the DSSS but some fields are different. So we have SYNC and SFD we already know. Uh, then we have three additional fields that is PLW, PSF and CRC and then we have the payload that is MBDU. So to begin with uh, this part that is of uh, this much is made up of 128 bits and then you have the uh, octets of 122098 for the MPDU. So uh, we start with the very first frame that is we have the SYNC which stands for synchronization. So it mainly deals with the synchronization of the receivers and it is used for signal detection whether if any incoming uh, outgoing signal is there it basically detects that and so it uh, deals or it uh, detects or senses by means of clear channel assessment CCA. So this uh, CCA process is basically used to identify or sense the medium uh, which is idle or not. So uh, if the medium is idle then uh, it means that you can do the data transfer or if that medium is not idle then you need to wait for some time. Uh, next we move on to the SFD that is start frame delimiter which is of 16 bits. So it indicates the start of the frame from where uh, the frame actually starts and from where you can uh, have the data. Next we have the PLCB PDU length word PLW. So uh, it states the number of bytes which are there in the payload that is MPDU and it also includes a 32 bit CRC that is the cyclic redundancy field at the end of the payload. Uh, next we have the PLCP signaling field that is PSF so uh, it mainly uh, deals with the data rate of about 1 to 2 Mbps. Uh, so uh, this fields uh, here one more field was there in DSSS that is we have the service length uh, field so that is replaced by the PLW and the PSF field and so we have this SYNC and SFD constituting the PLCP that is physical layer convergence protocol preamble and then we have uh, these three fields constituting the PLCP header and then we have the MBDU that is the payload. So uh, till here that is the 128 bits is uh, just made a GFSK that is Gaussian frequency shift keying at 2 GSFK and it's uh, made at a, a speed of about 1 Mbps and then we have the MPDU which is of 2 GFSK which is done at 1 Mbps rate and then you have 4 GFSK which is done at 2 Mbps rate. So uh, then we have the CRC which is uh, then uh, did for the parity checker which is used for uh, the header side and it mainly deals with the error detection which if any uh, thing occurs or if any uh, error is there in the package structure is mainly used for detection of that. So well that was all regarding the IEEE 802.11 physical layer FHSS package structure. So well that was all regarding in this video. If you enjoyed this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.